Again. Again, item 34. When he wants to do everything for the sake of the Creator and not for his own sake. Here, the body resists with all its might. Since it argues, why do you want to put me and my domain to death? You come to me with having to work only for the sake of the Creator and not for one's own sake, which, which is truly annulment of the will to receive from everything. You tell me that our sages said the Torah exists only in one who puts himself to death over it meaning to put to death all the domain of self-benefit and care only for the, for the benefit of the Creator. And before this, a person cannot be rewarded with the Torah. Yet, a person sees that it's unrealistic that he will have the strength to go against nature. To put himself to death to at that time one has to death his ego at that time one has no choice but to turn to the creator and say now i've come to a state where i see that unless you help me i'm lost i will never have the strength to overcome the will to receive as this is my nature rather only the creator can give another nature Yes. Meaning it's clear that such despair is what we need to come to. But we can't scream out of despair if we're not truly despaired. Because it's a matter of states, physical states that we need to, that need to happen in us, that we need to feel, that need to be revealed in us. Therefore, such a true prayer, eventually, we come to it in the ten, not alone, even though he writes here about one, but everyone in the ten needs to more or less feel this state, to integrate in one another, to understand this state of ten as one, and then and then we come to the answer, the repentance.